Because the Quran says that if you believe this book to be from other than God, you'll find in it many contradictions. Right, so many. What does the definition of many mean? Yeah, any contradiction. No, you just said many. <laughs> this scripture. Yeah. Wait, okay, this, it says this scripture. In brackets. In this, brackets. This, basically. Right. This, this. Ah, ah. In brackets. Yeah. Show me the Arabic word for this implied. scripture. Oh, uh, implied. Ah. Oh. Oh. I don't want to believe Hebrew. That's assumption. I said, give me a clear cut verse. So, oral transmission basically means trust me, bro, because you cannot verify it. So, we're going to go to this conversation. We actually have. I cannot test oral transmission. You can't go to the. Wait, wait, if I ask Rana to recite a chapter and he gets it wrong, can I not correct Rana? Exactly. So, can I not test him? I'll so tell that's you. a false claim. Okay. Just, 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 quiz us, quiz right. us, quiz us. Now, quiz us. Now, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. With any surah, okay. I mean, with that, we, we both memorize. Okay, I'll give you the surah from Al Jalalain where it talks about Lot's wife. Oh, but, you you're see, going, you're going you back, see. But, but, but here's the problem. Yeah. No, but he says, for example, it says, accept your wife. So he says, because he's the one who talks about the reading, and he says, the variant reading has sure, an accusative, okay, meaning about she's it. an exception. Talk about, let's, let's talk about the, the historical reliability of the Quran. So okay. there, there's this chapter called the Rome, which, which translates to Rome, the Romans or the Byzantine, Byzantines. Yeah. Okay. So in the time of the Prophet, in the beginning of Islam, there yeah. were two, two major uh, uh, empires. empires. There was the, the Persians and the Romans, and they, they were uh, the strongest, and they were quite at each other's throats. Yeah. So one was trying to overcome the other. But in the time, at, the, at that specific time, the Persians were stronger. Yeah. So what, what, when, when the, this surah was revealed, it says, Hulibat Rome. Okay, first of all, Alif Ma, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of God, the most merciful, the most gracious. Alif, Lam, Mim. These are three different letters. Hulibat Rome. The Byzantines have been defeated. Right. Fi adna al-ard wa hum min ba'di ghalabihim sayaghlibun. In the nearest land, but they, after their defeat, will overcome. So it's, 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 it's actually doing a prophecy. Okay. While, while, while the Byzantines were the underdogs. No one can, if, so, if, if you had to bet back then, right. you would never bet, bet in your, in your uh, right mind right. On, on the Byzantines. So how long did it say? Within, within how many? three to nine years. Right. So okay. now, are you aware it took longer than nine years for the defeat? No. Okay. Let's, shall we, shall, shall, okay. Because the war lasted longer than three to nine years. Ah, uh, okay. uh, so, you see. So the war lasted more than three to nine. It says they would be defeated yes. within three to nine years. But the, they, when we look at when that revelation took place and when they were actually defeated, defeated, it was longer than nine years. It was about thirteen years. But eventually, 13 but, or 15. but eventually, the underdogs... No, but you can't say 3 to 9, then it's 13 or 14 so or 15. That means it's a false so, wait, so how do you define an event? Yeah. When a war starts, it's when a war's going exactly. on, when a war's just, how do you define it? It's, it's arbitrary. Exactly. You're not going to start picking up... It's when subjective. You're when choose, exactly. No. Subjective. You're being arbitrary. Yeah. Because no, this event listen going to what I said. Yes. Yeah. And the no. conclusion I said, of the Quran prophecy came true. I said, I said we, we can look at when the Quran verse was revealed. Okay. And then we can look at when they were actually defeated. So it doesn't mean no, when no, they no, started. No, 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 no. That's arbitrary. Yeah, Why exactly. do you go to the end of the let's, war? Let's put the event has started. Let's the process let's taken place. Listen. Let's, let's, let's use a modern, a modern uh, example. Let me explain. So when, 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 can, you, when can we argue? I'm, when was Hitler defeated in World War II? No, yes. Can you give me an exactly? <laughs> exactly. Yes. You can say in the beginning of the war. You can say in the middle of the war. No. He can't, he can't, he can't be defeated. in the, 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 the day he was defeated is the day he killed himself. No. So when did it finish? Did it finish the day he died? Exactly. So when did it finish? It's subjective. First it's first no, it's not subjective. No, 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 it's not finished. So you're it's saying... It's not finished. It's when right. once he defeated. So basically what you're saying is... You're saying... You're saying even if it's last for 100 years yeah. and the Quran says 3 to 5 it could be the beginning it could but, be anywhere but, but, in 3 to 9 but, but, but so then how can it be a prophecy if it's arbitrary no it's not arbitrary it's not arbitrary I'm saying what you're, you're doing is arbitrary no, because, you're picking the end no. though and you're saying this is when we'll conclude it's, it it says it says, it says they will be defeated in 3 to 9 it didn't say it will be ongoing after nine years. It said they will be defeated. So we look at when were and they the exactly defeated. And the way I interpret this, 
they lost the war when the war started. Of course you would say that, because it fits with the Quran. But in terms of... It's coherent. No. It makes sense. No. Show me absurdity. Show me absurdity. It means they have to be officially... We do not go to wars and we don't define... It means they have to... No. There's not sharp demarcations. There's not a direct answer. Of course there is. There'll be a time where they're properly defeated. For example, there's battles in the Quran. Uh, and, and, there the be, battle of, and, there, and there will be times where they're not properly defeated. Okay, well, well, but okay, for example, what, there will be. Pro, um, see, I can't remember see, any of their names, what, what but there, were, there are battles that your prophet took place in. Some yeah. that he won. Yeah. You wouldn't say it was won at the beginning. You'd be like, the press, maybe the general was killed. That was when the war was won, or whatever. You wouldn't say as soon as they went into battle, the war was won. Exactly. Yeah, that's what he's saying. What's agree? What's agree? What's agree? He said any time in the. He said he believed the war was won at the beginning. Is that what he said? I'm no. saying, I'm, did you say that? I'm, I'm what demonstrating is, how no, arbitrary your position is by giving you another one like it. That's what I'm trying to demonstrate. No. Do you agree there was a spectrum? It is. is it spectrum? It is. No. no. They're defeated so, at a certain do you point. Know, do you know during that war spell when it mm. started, yeah? Yes. At what point they got defeated at the lowest ground? Exactly. Do you know at which point? And was that the point when they said the war's over? Yeah. Or did it continue exactly. going Do you know that? He doesn't know that. So, so, if you, so if you don't know, how would you claim that's a prophecy? How do you no, know it's a prophecy? I'm asking you, I'm, no, I'm but none Muslims wrote about it. None Muslims wrote about it. No, but I'm saying, how would you know it's a prophecy? But are you aware? Because some, some, you, you some of the God, very God, God is talking about something that happened but, in the future. But some of the some of the recitation, the readings of that that verse talk about it in the past tense. That because it says they will be, and then some of the readings say they have been. No. In well, the past the tense. Rules, they, the tense is done way after the yeah. right? Yeah, well, tense is hundreds of years yeah, later. That makes sense. So they're, they're talking about no, 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 no. Well, 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 they were defeated, fine. This is past tense. Right. But they will overcome in the future. But I'm saying some of the readings. Which reading is that? Let me have to find it because uh, it's out there. But any anything else whilst I'm finding this? They're, 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 let's go back to the, the, the revelation of the Quran. The prophecy talks about a certain event during a war, right? And what you're saying is correct? Uh, yep, go on. And how do you know when Okay, I found it. So now, I found my evidence. So, um, blah, 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 blah. So the words. Yes. They will overcome. Yeah, but I think this is the, the variant. Yep. Pagans killing each other. And on the other side, one village that destroyed the Romans in the country from Morocco to you won't Iran find it. or to India. That's why it's a prophecy. Claiming the God so of it's always Abraham. talking about so what about the Rome? They were they were defeated. Uh, mm -hmm. So they will overcome the Persians. That's what they're saying. In three to nine years, people are saying. You won't find it. It's not, it's not there, is it? Yeah. <laughs> no, but I have to find... Yeah. Like, take I have time, to... bro. You take all the time you want. Time. So, so what, what the brother here is claiming is yeah. that the, the historical liability of the Quran. Yes, so because what he's I made two that, claims. Is that the Bible is more historically reliable than the Quran. That's okay. ridiculous. Right. Which is ridiculous. Of course it is. Because of course it is. Yeah. No, of course it is. I'll give you an example. Who was Dul Qarnayn? That's a no, but he just said. You say Alexander the Great. Something like that. No, 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 no. I'm saying. It's up for debate. No, no, but my point is. Dulkar name was a historical person. Even the Muslims don't know who he was. So how can you say the Quran is more historical, historically reliable than the Bible? If I concede yeah. and I say the Muslims don't know who he was, yes. what is the proof? It means that he, is, that making, claim is not historically he, he, he's, reliable. He's making a simple claim yes. that the Quran is more historically attested to than the Bible. Yeah. The Quran is more historically how? accurate how? than the Bible. The just Quran by that one more, verse? No, the Quran is just one example. Okay, give me another one. I'll find the... Even if it's one verse, it's the word of God. Word of God according to... I don't believe it's the word of God. You do. Right. You believe it's the word of God. But if someone doesn't, then that statement doesn't mean anything. Because I could, exactly. So that's why I don't argue that, oh, it's the word of God, therefore it's true. One of the verses in the Quran says that if you believe this book to be from other than God, you'll find in it many contradictions. Right. So many. therefore, in 1400 years, yep. there's not been a substantial evidence right. of any contradictory verses. So what does many mean? What do you mean? What does 
what's the definition? What is the definition? You you brought that verse to me. So what does what does the definition of many mean? Yeah, no many. Yeah. Any context. No, you just said many. But I'm not giving you the definition. You see, you see how he's changing it. No, I'm not. I said many. Why? No, no, no. What I'm saying to you, my brother. Are you saying if it says any? Because we can look at the Arabic word. With the Bible, my friend. Well, no, no, don't drive back from that. No, but don't start because I want to start with the first claim that you made. Finish what the claim. No, but you interjected. You said. But finish the claim with him. No, but you don't. Paper, don't no, divert. It's paper boy. Yes. No, but, go back to your... <laughs> <laughs> no, but listen, don't listen. divert. Oh, no, no, you no, came I'm in with a big statement, and now one I'm trying to address find it. Find one contradiction. No, but I'm. Yeah, let's let's one, start. One, one. No, but no, let's. You, no, but wait. Thing. Find the contradiction. Yeah, but wait. You said many. Find a contradiction. Yeah, but let's find let's any contradiction. Let's go. Let's go. I, I can step. wait for you. You find a contradiction. <coughs> yeah, yeah, right. But paper boy, you've done your research. No, but but wait. Let's find the contradiction. No problem. But first, let's start. Let me bring the verse up. What's the verse that he's talking about? The verse that you, you mentioned. mentioned. What was the verse? Uh, which so I said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that. Yeah. Because let's start with the premise and then but go on from there. This, uh, this, the, the one new evidence you were bringing that you could not find, you said you found it. Finish that then, at least. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> because the claim was in the Quran, it says the Romans would be, defeat the Byzantines within three to nine years. I said it took longer than nine years. They're saying, well, we can't define when a war is. Is one. So let's see. So what was it? The verse? Oh, it was. Um, I don't know the verse of No problem. You don't want to talk about theology, huh? Paper ball. Huh? I don't mind. We've been talking two hours. We'll, we'll have another to. conversation. No, but I, I was I was highlighting the double they, standards. They, they, they're gonna they're gonna cut nice. <laughs> never cut. <laughs> never, never. You know, you know where you're going. To. No, no, no. <laughs> you you would go in, go in. Definitely not. Yes. I've been at the beginning. I was like to be honest. I was following where you were, but I realized that. You always try to bring it back to the Quran. No, you know what you're doing. no, no. I, I tell well, you why. I'm just telling you. Yes. Not to reject the Bible. Right. But I say to you. Right. It's difficult. It's difficult to accept that the Book of Luke. Yes. Is the uh, is inspired by God right. or guided in the way that he just said that he's an historian. And I just say no. And you can't. But that's an assertion. That's what I'm. That's my point. Was it's just a claim. Okay. Yeah, but you're asking it. That's. I'm saying that's your preconception. That. So that's why we went through this whole thing. Okay. Okay. You read the text, and I believe that this is from God. Now you read the text, yes. and you believe that this has been written by someone guided by God, right. who do not pretend to be a prophet inspired by God. Okay, you understand but here's his, 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 his the problem. Now, if I go to the Old Testament, there's many books in the, there's 44, six, sorry, six, uh, 44, four, whatever, books in the Old Testament. When I look at how they're written, they're written in the third party, sometimes by a scribe. So I can say this is consistent with how prophets wrote biblical stories before. He has come with a preconception. So my claim to you was, can you show me a book from a prophet that goes in line with this, a statement that you made of this is how a book should be re revealed? If we take out the Quran, so I've given you evidence from the Old Testament. Listen, 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 we can go to any of the books from Moses, where it talks about Moses did X, Y, and Z. We can go to the book of Psalms or whatever. It's always written in that historical perspective. So I'm saying, if you believe this is how God should communicate, okay, okay, okay. give me an example from a prophet other than from Muhammad to support your claim. Exactly. So therefore, his, no, he can, have no, but no problem. No, no, no. But this is the whole problem. I didn't say that. No, but this is, I've got no problem. But here's the, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I don't. Even if he did or didn't, I'm, I've no problem. With that you don't want me to answer. Let me answer. You want me to back up my claim. I'm going to back up my claim. I took a random chapter in the book of Jeremiah or any prophet in the Old Testament mm -hmm. and I said to you, look, the world has been addressed. Uh, sorry, but not all, every book is written like that. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, okay, fair enough. But right. at least they have this, at right. least. But even in that same book. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, from God, right. saying, and then you have, stand in the gates of the Lord's house and proclaim there this, this word and say, hear the word of the God, of the Lord. Right. So and so What on. does that prove? I said you. No, I said, but that's still written by Moses. 
So therefore, listen, it's been written at from least, a third person perspective. At least you can appreciate But God is speaking in the first person. Hey, listen. So I'm saying the book of Luke is exactly the same. It's written in the he, third person. No, but listen. At least you can appreciate it. What Jeremiah said, if what Jeremiah received from God, you can believe on it or not. But what Luke, you have a book written by Luke who does not pretend to be inspired, but pretend to be a historian gathering information. You do believe that he is inspired by God. That's different layers in the face, which you cannot even back up. So I'm saying to you, what the example you've given at least me, if you had a verse like that you could say i do believe but that's not how the revelation was okay let me uh, that's how okay wait wait, wait was, okay yeah. wait if now go that's with go with, my, go with my thought experiment if jesus is god and jesus makes a Why statement is, anyway? is that revelation huh? is that revelation you say again? You if jesus is god oh, yeah, and he makes a statement is that revelation yeah technically well it's not hard to answer. Yeah, technically. Right. So then it doesn't say, thus says Jesus. It says, Jesus went to Galilee and said these words. It's exactly the same. The problem is your preconception of what it is. So you're saying it should be, yes, thus saith the Lord. Yes, but if Jesus is God, yes, and we can, obviously that's what Christians believe, your position <laughs> is different. But I'm saying, if Jesus is God, then that, that answers his question. Because if Jesus speaks something, it is the same as saying, Thus saith the Lord. If yeah. Jesus says that is revelation itself. To grant that the Quran at least claims to be the verbatim word of God. But again, first, again, go over my statement. Narrative. But you Jesus said if Jesus is God, okay. that would okay. that, would that yeah, make yeah, would yeah. that would oh, that be a sufficient you explanation? Right. Right. Yeah, but so yeah, then but we can go. Then we yeah, but yeah, exactly. No problem. Then we can go on to prove whether Jesus is God. But the point was, if Jesus is God, then that statement is sufficient to answer his question of it saying, thus says the Lord, because when Jesus speaks, it is God speaking, so it is revelation. No, listen, listen, I think you're misconceived. If Jesus says a statement, right. I would not deny that this statement is from God, because he said, everything that I said doesn't come from me, but that comes from no the problem. one who sent me. That's, not my, that's, that's right. not my point. But I say to you, you're taking a text, and this text has been written, as per the first chapter by an historian who said that he collected oral tradition okay. and you do believe that he has been inspired right. okay. that's like two, he, ten, he, two layers on the that's top a good question. That's, that's, that's the over claim right. that's not even okay. I have, I have, huh? now listen to his now listen to now listen now your 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 standard has and to no, be no. that the person has to claim okay. claim it and i'm not even and I'm not even saying that what Jesus said is not the word of God in the book of Luke. I'm not even denying this. Right. But I'm saying you have to be, like, how would say, rational in your way you approach you, the you gospel. Are, your man. point doesn't make because sense. Because it doesn't make sense. Your you argument have, doesn't make you sense. You will have legion of Christian leaving Christianity. Maybe you pay, do it. Maybe you. you are a liar. Uh, man, legion you? of Christian leaving but, the Christianity. But, <laughs> no, but no, Mate, no, but stick to hey, the point. Stick to the point. Stick to the point. Stick to the point. Stick, stick, stick to the point that you're making. Okay, I'm saying to you, if at the beginning of the book, right. you have Luke coming yes. up and saying, "I'm an historian. Right. I came up and I gathered all tradition from different witnesses, right. and I did the best I can to right. gather them." Right. My. Uh, my Timothy or whatever, right. I say, okay, no problem. You're an historian, no problem. Right. If a Christian comes up and say, and this, and this guy has been guided by God to write all these texts. When he himself says, I'm a historian. Allah, <laughs> Allah. Right. Yeah. That, like I'm Jesus. saying, right. you'll create Jesus. the doubt. Who right. would believe this? Now, now let's apply this no, 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 logic no, no, to Islam. If someone claims, if if well, someone you just no because your yeah. no because I'm I want to show you the double standard. If someone comes and says this we book is God, like who day, revealed darkness. it to you? An angel? Which angel? Oh, an angel, Jibril. You don't Did understand. that angel give you his name? Can you show me the name yeah. that it says? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, show yeah. me. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so he's Darling. questioning yeah, 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 the authenticity yeah, yeah. authenticity yeah, of his source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when we go to the Quran, how do we know that angel was from God? Yeah. So it claims it's from Allah. Who do we even know who the angel is? But he's saying, oh yes, we, we must believe. We do have the name in the Quran. Show me it says, yeah, yeah. Angel Gabriel yeah, 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 was the one yeah, who yeah, revealed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. Minute, so if let's say that, then I'll take your point away. You retract it. I will, yeah, I will retract yeah, the point. Yeah. But let's no, see no, if no, it no, says, no, no. Angel Gabriel was the one who revealed the Quran to... Yeah, that's it, the Quran. Okay, let's okay, see. We're here to learn, right? Mm. 
They're confident, bro. I'm just saying. <laughs> we've huh? we've been there, done that, bro. Because I want to highlight his double standard, that's all. Uh, yeah. Because it, and this is the thing, sometimes when it comes to the Bible, people are like PhDs. Right. It's like they have a PhD. Ask when scholars. it comes to the Quran, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's like, ask the scholars. No, ask the scholars. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's what it is. Exactly. It's the Quran gets the same scrutiny that the Bible does. Okay. Go on, go on, go on, go on. I read it, I read it, I read it. Read, give me the chapter. It's chapter, the cow, the first. The second chapter, okay. uh, I, uh, 97. 297, let's go. No, 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 97. No, so, chapter two, yeah. Surah 2. Chapter 2. Okay, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's, let's, check it out. let's, check it out. let's see. We retract it. You reach out it, and then you will remind that Jeremiah yeah, yeah. received the revelation it's, of it's, by it's, Gabriel. It's, it's, it's not a Did you know this? Sorry, sorry. Did I'll you know like this? Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Did you know that as well? Jeremiah received a revelation from Gabriel. Sorry. In the in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament. Yes, he received it, and he has this convulsion. Okay. The same go thing go as ahead, a prophet. Right. Did it you says, know this? Say, you know? yes. say. Wait, wait. Say. Who is the enemy to Jibril? Say who? Say, say. oh Muhammad. Yeah, to yeah that's in brackets. That's not in Arabic. For it is he. Who have revealed? Can, can you repeat again? Again. He revealed. No, no, no. From the beginning. Jibril, Jibril. Yeah. Okay. Who is an enemy say, to Jibril? Okay. For <laughs> he, it is he <laughs> who has who who hath revealed to thine heart by Allah's lead. Oh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Now, let's go, 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 go. That's a knockdown. Hey yo, hey yo. So now it says, for it is he who have revealed. <laughs> this scripture. Yeah. Wait. This scripture. Okay, this, it says this scripture. In brackets. In this, brackets. This, basically. Right. This, this. Ah, ah. In brackets. Yeah. Show me the Arabic word for it's this implied. scripture. Oh, implied. Ah. Implied. So where I ah, you see, ah. I said, show me the verse where it says this. Allah and um, Jibril revealed the Quran. Yes. He said it's in brackets, no, 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 so no, no. it's implied. No, 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 it's not I, implied. Let me read okay. the Arabic version. Okay, go okay. on. Give me the Arabic word for Quran in sure. this verse. Yes. Oh, now or, you, where you does want it this say way. You want it this way? Yes. Want, yeah, yeah, I said, show me the verse way, that says Jibril oh, is the one who revealed the Quran no, 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 to Muhammad. No, no, no. What was You said it's implied. You see? No, because what? I'll tell you why. When you say to us, you just said to us, where did Jesus say, for example, where did Jesus say I'm God? Don't you? not say that where did in the bible does it say My you said friend. where in the bible does luke say he was inspired by god no, so let's, let's, i'm asking let's, you for a specific let's, 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 let's statement same standard. you see let's go ahead, let's same go standard let's go in Mark chapter 10 mm. verse 60 what do you tell don't, me I'm good? Don't, 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 the only don't, good is don't, God. Don't, 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 don't divert. Yes. Go ahead. What do you think about this verse? Say, who is an enemy to Gabriel? Yes. For he it is who, who hath revealed to thy heart by Allah's leave. When we, right. when, when we read the Arabic version. Yes. And here you, I can see yeah, word yeah, for word, yeah. the transliteration. Where does it say Quran? Qul man kana aduan li Jibreel fa innahu nazzalahu ala nazzalahu means he, 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 he sent down. He sent it down. What's it? What is Muhammad re uh, reciting here? What's you he tell me. You tell it me. It doesn't say. It says, okay. When what is he reciting? According to, according to the hadith, did Angel Jibro say Ikra? Why do you call me sorry? To Muhammad in the cave. Yeah. He said Ikra. Ikra. Did, does the hadith say it was revealed in his in his heart or did he have to recite? No, 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 no. Right. So what's what? So what's the, the hadith contradicts the Quran. No, 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 no. Right. You, you do understand mm. that that Gabriel actually spoke out the Quran. Right. What do you mean? Uh, that, that's a claim. Where did you? Where, that's why I said. Muslims say, where did Jesus say, I'm God, worship me in those exact words. So I said to you. Show me in the Quran where it says Angel Gabriel revealed the Quran yeah, to Muhammad. I, yes. Don't give let's, me let's, assumption. No, 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 Don't give me no, assumption. No, 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 or, uh, yeah, he never said I'm that God worship, worship was But it's implied in many, in many uh, yeah. okay, okay, places. Okay. Mm. What's, what's, um, what has more weight to it? Like, like, what changes the whole religion as a whole? 
that ch changing Jesus from uh, a servant of God to God himself by something that's implied or, uh, or, or attributing a book to exactly. God that was not from an angel yeah. is the same because it could have been a jinn. Okay, let's, let's, what, do you, what do you mean? It says Gabriel. No, it doesn't say he revealed the Quran. What did he reveal then? You what tell me. It, you tell me. It doesn't say. What, what are the possibilities? It doesn't say. You tell me. What, it, what, I are, don't the, know. what are the conceptual uh, possibilities? It's not the Quran. It's the not the Quran. I, I what know, else? I know what you're trying to say. You're trying to say. Some of the Quran. What did, what did Jibril reveal to him? Then? Exactly. That's what I have saying. no idea. What, what because the, the Quran says the angels and Jibril. And Zalalahu. 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 And Assumption. <laughs> I said, the, give okay, me a clear cut me. verse. Yeah, exactly, we want that. You we said, that. where did we Luke say that. I was inspired by God? You see, <laughs> when he wants the exact words, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. it's okay. Yeah, yeah. When I want exact words, yeah. oh no, yeah, we yeah, have yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. context. Yeah. When he comes to the nature of God, no, 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 when he comes to the nature of God, you're smiling. Because you know, because I know you're sneaky. No. Whenever he comes to the nature of God, standards. Whenever, whenever he comes right. to the nature of God, right. we expect something clear. Exactly. Like in the we Old expect. Testament, in the nature, in the Old Testament, mm. you have to follow the, the law. Your God is one. Everything is clear. Mm. If Jesus was God, okay. you would have said it clearly right. in the exactly. Old New Testament. It's not like, oh, okay. ego in me. I am. Right. I am. I am. Okay. Oh no, he's not. I am. I am. He's just, I am. But he, okay. he's okay. He, 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 he's he's okay. What? Okay, the, the prophet. The, 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 the okay. Wait, 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 wait. I'm saying the wait. truth. The prophets came with the Ten Commandments. Can you show me the Ten Commandments in the Quran? Why should you do yeah. that? Why, why, why should yeah, you yeah. Show, why show me? Show because me. That's, that's why, show the law. Because no. all the prophets were the Ten Commandments. Yeah. Yeah. So show me where the to yeah. 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 Moses. Yeah. 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 So Moses was a muhaqqaq for the Jewish. He was someone bringing laws. The Prophet Sallallahu bringing laws. So why do you want the Prophet to refer to the Quran? my point was. If you're saying Muhammad was in the line of the prophets and this is from God, show me the Ten Commandments in the Quran. Why, why does God because have they are, to stick with it? It's, he's, he's God. No, the the, the God Ten Commandments were for the Jew. The Sabbath is exactly. part of the Jewish. Exactly. Right. So, so then the Quran came to contradict it? No. So how can it be from God? No, that's, that's a game. Sorry. No, because you're that's saying... He's playing. If, he's playing. No, 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 he's playing. He's playing. Jew, for example, no, Jews, no, do not, no, no. Jews do not... Call himself... Jews, you see? Look at how many You see? Rejected. You see? Uh, you're, you you're appealing to the prophets. No, 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 no. So I'm saying, let's look at what the prophets taught. We're if jumping that, from, we've, from, from something to something. Okay, subject, we'll go back to um, Jibril being yeah. the one that revealed the Quran. You still haven't proven it. So I'm going to give you the Quran. It actually says his name. It's not It's not. Yes, it says his name. It doesn't say he revealed the Quran. Revealed this. Revealed what? What's this? You, it's uh, not the Quran. No, no, it's not the Quran. No, you see? No, this is, it's what, not the Quran. What, what, look, these guys, the yeah. But you see? What's it's not the, the Quran. Quran. Look at... Wait, 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 wait. Look at, look at this guy. He got himself busted. He said, when the Christian, you said oh the Quran, <laughs> you said you said the Quran, you said the Bible. They go to ergo a me, and they use this as an explanation. But now you're going to a vague verse and trying to explain that. But when the Christians do it, oh, they go to ergo a me. You see, you see, you see, you see, what? you see. Respond to my comment, my friend. Respond to my comment. You said. The Christians will go to Ergo Ami and use that as evidence. You scrub the drawers. Right, so do, show me a clear cut verse in the Quran that says Gibril is the one who revealed the Quran. Yeah. Yeah, don't give me, me don't show scrape me. the verse. I can only listen. You see? I can't, I yeah. can't. You see? Look at this guy. Listen, look at you. Look at you. Listen, listen. Do you want right. to see listen. it? Listen. Do you want yeah. to see it? Let me, let I me. I want to see the word Quran. Ah. I want to see yes. it. I want to see the word Quran. Anzalna al Quran. You okay, see, wait, let's wait. let's see. Give me another verse. Let's go for another verse. Oh, guys, you, these guys ask for clear stuff, so I'm using the same standard yeah, back may, to may. them. We didn't ask. Yo, tell us Okay, wait, 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 do you concur? Yeah, yeah, wait, don't, don't, wait. I, I will, I will. Yeah, I'm going. Do you concur that it actually says no. Gabriel and it says that it was No, down. and I'm showing you why. Go to Anissa. Anissa. Verse, sur, um, Ayah 2. Uh, Ayah 2. I need to go and pray. And, um, okay. No problem. Nice conversation. Well, nice. Yalla. So now, take care. 
Now read what it says. Now translate that to English. So it's actually talking about orphans. Are you? It's in Nisa, right? Or are you? Sixteen. And and sorry. And na na. What's this one? So it's. And na. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I said it wrong. Bees, bees. So it's actually the bees. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I said it wrong. ينزل الملائكة بالروح من أمره على من يشاء من عباده أن أنذر إنه أن أنذر أنه لا إله إلا أنا فاتقون. So what so actually yeah, what, what this actually means? Yeah. He sends down angels. Yeah. With بالروح uh, with uh, inspiration. Inspiration. Right. Uh, by his command. Right. On who he ever wills. Right. Uh, from his slaves. Okay. That. Um, what does this mean? That so I just read the verse yeah, yeah, out. The, the, Otherwise, just, you're just reading. Tell them that so it says, there is no God, it says, no God other than Allah, then fear Him. Do you know on the, st uh, on the channel of Soko, right. you posted like a video talking about Israel and the prophecy yeah, 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 yeah. recently? Yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Are you the guy, paper boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. like say, with the, the guy like doing boxing? Is that your ah, image? Your, your oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. You're the, I'm the one with the Itachi Sharingan. I posted the comments on Soko. Okay. Did you see it? No. You responded no, no. to me. Okay, but I don't remember the specifically. But let I'm me just saying. No, to find you. it. That's so fine. He's talking about this verse now. No, find it and uh, we'll yeah, have, yeah. have that conversation. But yeah, go on. So, so, so as, as yeah, we yeah. said, yeah. So as we said, he. Um, he sends down angels yep. um, with, with inspiration or with this... Uh, so what, what? Allah sends down angels, angels in, the plural. in the plural. What's the inspiration? That um, tell the people that there is no God other than worship except right. Him. So now... So fear Him. So, so now I can make an argument that the Quran says that angels come down with inspiration. So when it says Gibriel came down to his heart... They, these, these are not two separate books. It's okay. the Quran. So when, right. in, one, in one ayah right. or in one verse, it right. says the angels generally. Right. So this can be applicable so, to other, exactly. yes. other so, messages. So Gibriel but can it, have, could have no, come no, no, down no, no, with no, no, inspiration. No. That's why I say, show me where it no. says the Quran. So what, that's what I'm saying. Yes. So we're talking about the Quran. And that verse that we said when right. we talked about, uh, what was it? Ayah 96, 92. Right. Surat al-Nisa. It says actually Gabriel. Yeah. That's who was the one who was in charge of revealing down the Quran right. from Allah. It doesn't say Quran. It just says this. It says this. No, it just says it says it just says so is this one and zelahu yeah show, show me the i know but i don't remember you, every comment that you, I you responded to. as we spoke so like what's a huge the package with just like line and then you responded on it what's yeah but i don't remember every, you would have to I find think maybe the comment. Deleted my no comments. it'll be there if you go to you can look at your own comments where people responded yeah, to anyway yeah so, so my point is that, yeah no we problem so my point so, is so the main point here is you, that you're, you're talking about i agree this, right this this may ha may have happened with other prophets. We don't know. God didn't didn't. What didn't was specify. the context of this verse? So the, the one you just read. What 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 is it talking about? You, because you can't just say it could be talking about other prophets. No, no 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 no. He talks generally. He didn't talk about Muhammad. So he how did, do so how do we know the angels didn't come down to Muhammad as well? Because it says we send them. But they, they weren't in charge of, of revealing the Quran. But it doesn't say the Quran was revealed to him by Jibril. It does. And that, no, it doesn't. That same verse, You've right? assumed. I didn't assume. That's why I asked for a clear cut verse. Because. Here, again. Mm -hmm. Surah Al Baqarah, Ayah 97. Chapter 2, Ayah 97. قل من كان عدوا لجبريل فإنه نزله على قلبك بإذن الله مصدقا لما بين يديه وهدى وبشرى للمؤمنين. Say whoever is an enemy to G to Gabriel. Yeah. He was the one who, who sent this down on your heart. Inspiration. Ins sent this down. Inspiration. Sent. Sent. Yeah. Inspiration. So I'm saying if you disagree, show me where why you disagree. If it what doesn't do say Quran, if it doesn't say Quran, I can say inspiration. You'd have to disprove Nizalahu. that this means. The God is talking about this. What inspiration. Is this? What is this? Inspiration. What do you mean? It doesn't say Quran. What is he reciting? 
He could be inspired. Oh, tell me. Yeah. It well, doesn't mean. It doesn't mean. So I've, I've, it's not Quran. It's written there. Because so. inspiration can be sent to your heart. So that's the, that's the main the main argument you're having. Because. Yeah. Because well, when you because when you look at so yes if if if, right. if you if you if you clean the dirt out of your glasses you'll see clearly we say the same about no, you no, no, about no, no, Jesus no, the no, same no, thing no, we no, can no, say no, about no, you no, no. we're not talking about a pillar here we're not talking about the foundation of the religion okay like like uh, ascribing a par partner to God we're talking about here uh, of of a messenger from God so his claim was that, that it's not Gabriel I showed him a clear verse that you don't want to. Um, say it's clear. Okay, that no this is not problem. The Quran. Let me show you something now yeah. before you go. No, no, we'll, I'm going anyway. No, but two yeah, minutes. Two minutes. It will literally take two minutes. So we believe Jesus was resurrected, right? <clears throat> Went up into heaven. That he ascended to heaven. That's so it, wasn't he uh, crucified? Was yeah, he? after the crucifixion. After the crucifixion, we believe he ascended. He to was heaven. Res re resurrected, right? Yeah, after three days, and then he went okay. up to heaven. So I'm going to show you the story just quickly before you go. Yeah. So it says when they were together. Um, blah blah blah. So it says, and when he had said these no, things, no, no, not blah blah blah. This is the word of God, man. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just trying to be quick. Come on, man. So it says, <laughs> and when he said, and when he had said these things, they were looking on. He was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. And whilst they were gazing at into heaven, as he went, behold, two men stood by them in white robes and said, "Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus, who you." Who was, who was taken up from you into heaven will come to the sa come in the same way as you saw him go to heaven. We agree. Yep. Yeah. Then it says, then when they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey away. So here it's saying that Jesus ascended to heaven we agree. from the Mount of Olives. Yeah. Now let me just show you one thing before you go. Not sure about the location, but but Muslims agree no, that no he, problem. He, he he actually was lifted up and he, he wasn't crucified and he will come down. No problem. He will so come back. That's not yeah. yeah. Now yeah. this is the book of Zechariah yeah, okay. in the Old Testament, and it talks about when God will come. So it says, "Behold, the day is coming for the Lord." So when it's Lord, it just means God, because it's in capitals. Okay. So it says, when the spoil taken from you will be divided in your midst. For I will gather all the nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses plundered, and the women raped. Half of the city shall go into exile, but the rest of the people shall not be cut off from the city. And this is what I want you to concentrate on. It says, then the Lord, in capitals, it says, will go out and fight, out, fight against those nations as to when he fights on the day of battle. On that day, his feet shall land, stand on the Mount of Olives that lie before Jerusalem on the east and the Mount of Olives shall be split in two from east to west. So now the prophet Zechariah saw God coming to the Mount of Olives. And Which his, is in his, in his view is Jesus. Well, that's why, I'm, that's why you've made the connection because in, in no, here, so it said God is we coming. Actually, we actually believe that no, God. No, I'm, I'm that, not saying about your belief. No, 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 no. no, no right. I, I, what I'm saying is that right. we do believe yeah. uh, Muslims do yep. that uh, God is on His throne yep. uh, above the heavens. No problem. So, so what's what's that's what, not got nothing to do with this because this says that God's two feet right there on that day, His feet shall stand on the Mount of Olives that lies before Jerusalem on the east, and the Mount of Olives shall be split into two from east to west. Show now me. you said to so me, you're saying that this is Jesus. Now let, let me go back to your analogy of yeah. Jibril. Yeah. You said the verse, it, when it says, what is it? You said that has to be the Quran, yes? Because that's what's his... Nothing uh, else. No, so no, 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 not right. nothing else. Because so, um, that's what, what in Arabic it actually... No, uh, right, that's the meaning. no so, problem. So that's what he's saying. No so, problem. So, ala qalbik right. means he sent down this. What's okay, this? Yeah, right. So. so I'm saying to you, the Prophet is saying that God's very literal feet will come on the Mount of Olives and split it into two. Sure. Then the angel said, the same way you saw Jesus leave on the Mount of Olives, you'll see him return. So when Jesus returns, it's coincidentally the same mountain that the prophet saw God returning on. So you're trying to say to us, we cannot connect passages to say, well, that's this means Jesus is God. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. No? It's, that's not what I'm saying. Can't it be in two different occasions? Okay, Can't why would it, it be? be? No, no, that, that's what I'm asking. So, so if you're standing here and then right. someone else comes and stands yep. in the, the same place as right. you, so you're not the same So person. now, no problem, I can go with that. Let's say on that one occasion yep. it could. However, the Bible talks about many things, for example, that Jesus will come with the angels on that day. It also says the prophets in the Old Testament said they saw God coming with the angels. 
So everything in the Old Testament that the prophets saw God doing, in the New Testament, that's what they say Jesus is doing. That's way, why, yeah. what, one last question, who is Alpha and Omega? That's, that's again, for, for hundreds of years right. that you, you, you've been using it. No, but no problem, but I'm asking you who is Alpha and Omega, according to your belief? I'm not sure, I'm not Allah sure. Allah is the Alpha and Omega, is the, um, the beginning and the, 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 the last. Yeah. The first and the last, sorry, I should say. Yeah. Who's the first and the last, according to your belief? Awal wal -akhir, yeah. Right. So according to the, the Bible, Jesus <laughs> called himself the first and the last. So that's what I'm saying to you. Did he though? Yes, in the book of uh, Revelation. No, no, did, was Jesus talking or, or was he saying that I am In the vision, in the book of Revelation. No, no, was D Jesus the one who was saying that mm. or was he talking about God? No, he's talking about himself. Okay, yeah. I'm not sure about that verse. No problem, but all I'm saying can, can is... I, can I ask you a question in the, about the Bible? So, right. So you believe the Trinity, right? So you believe yeah, the Trinity. Yeah, but, but let's, before we get that, I've just wanted to clearly I, I establish to you... I understand this point, but what right. I'm saying is that these could be two different occasions, right. and it could be God himself, according right. to this, which right. I don't ascribe to, and that's it could... That's uh, Yeah, yeah, that's... Right. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just uh, trying to... to so, so, so let's say you said it could be God. My question would be, yep. see, all the things that have been ascribed to God that the prophets saw, they said they saw the vision of God, what he would do, that in the New Testament, you see those are being ascribed to Jesus. So Jesus is not a representative because the prophets did not see a representative. They said that it was God himself. Just like this passage I showed you, it said God himself, his two feet. So by yeah, you way, said it could be a different occasion. Yeah, so I'm yeah, saying the, way, the Bible gives you other instances that show the same returning of Jesus, yeah. which the prophets said would be the returning of God himself. All right. So just to, just to wrap this up, the yes. original claim that wasn't addressed, that just to go back no problem. Few, and, and to, to close this subject. So what our claim as Muslims is that Quran was revealed in Arabic. Right. We still have it in Arabic. Right. And it's memorized by millions of people right. who are not even Arabic speakers. <laughs> and it's the same version. We have different Qur'at. What country are you from? I'm from Bahrain. Okay. And we have different Qur'at. Right. But most people use the Hafs recitation. Exactly. And this because of Egypt 1924. No, because of the Ottoman Empire. No. I'll show you from scholars. Yeah. So basically what happened is Al-Azhar University, I'm sure you're aware of yep. it, very reputable. Students used to write essays, but they used to contradict each other because they used to be so many variants. So to stop that happening, they made a standardized issue because of, um, you know, the printing yeah. press. Yeah. Then that is what Saudi Arabia adopted. Exactly, exactly. So then all, that's why now 90% of Muslims use the Hass recitation. I'm not sure about the percentage, but it's about like, 90, yeah, 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 majority. Yeah, majority. But it's only do, Morocco. Have, so so, we, so <coughs> the, going back to the, to the same point, is that we have our original, that's our claim. Yes. That the, the Quran was, was revealed in Arabic. Right. And we do have a chain of narration to the Quran. We yes. have, we know, so Warsh and, and, and Nafa is an actual person. Right. We know who, who, who he took that narration from. And whoever teaches that narration, right. we can we can link it back as, through a chain of narration to Warsh himself. Right. Hafs and Asim the same. So um, that's the main claim here, is that it's in Arabic, we still have the same Warsh version. Warsh is a student of Hafs. Yes, yeah. but here's the problem. If okay. you read, no, for no, example, no. if you work, read the works of Al-Tabari, yeah. he's criticized now by modern scholars because he criticized some of the readings or the recitation because he said this can't be God because the Arabic did not make sense. So when you look at the earlier scholars, what they used to claim is different from modern scholarship. For example, he, fine, fine, he but said... He, but he, that's, he, he's not a prophet anyway. No problem, yeah. but the problem is you cannot show me a statement from the prophet where he says that. al Qurtabi says, for example, that Aruf, Haruf, 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 yeah. Yeah, Haruf and the Kirat, there are 53 different interpretations of what they are and none of the scholars agree. Yeah. So when Muslims claim preservation, we have to establish what is the Haruf and what is the Qirat. If the scholars can't agree, your prophet never clarified it. So it's just a claim that they have been preserved, but none of the scholars actually know what, what the difference between sure. it is. Sure, okay, let, let, let's, let's assume that we don't know the actual um, exact meaning of, yes. of, the, of the Haruf and the Qirat. We know what the Qirat is, of the Haruf themselves. But we still have mm -hmm. one version. Let's let's assume that we we, we, we only end up with Hafs and Asr. Right. Okay, and, and we forget for some reason all the different Qur'as and they just get buried mm -hmm. and we don't we don't have them anymore. Yeah. So with that claim, mm -hmm. the Quran is still preserved. In what sense? In the sense that we have a full Quran, um, one hundred and fourteen surahs mm -hmm. that's memorized by all Muslims. Right. 
even so, if even if the, if the other versions get lost right so if you have at least one version that's preserved right. that 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 that's um, situates that right. the Quran is preserved so that's right. my claim but the the, the 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 thing or going back to to this and this was our main point of contention mm -hmm. what we said is that the Bible was originally inspired in which language Aramaic or Greek yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. The translation of that mm -hmm. is no more the, uh, the the word of God. That's right. my that's what why I'm saying. That that's right. our main difference here. Yeah, but here's the problem in that's the it. in the Quran, it's called the Injil. Yeah, Injil is not an Arabic word. Yeah, it's taken from the Greek. Sure. So, if the Arab if it because in English it's gospel. Sure. In Arabic, I know in Hebrew it's Bethora. So you have a similar word in Arabic for good news. It's um, uh, Bishara. Bashara, very similar to the Arabic. <clears throat> so if it was revealed in Arabic, in Aramaic, it wouldn't have been given a Greek name called the Injil, because the Greek was what was used by all Christians, and that's what the Quran refers to. So the question would be, if the Quran, if the Injil was revealed in Arabic, why didn't Allah say, "I revealed the Bashara"? the good news, yeah. but he said the Injil, which is taken from a Greek word, sure, Evangelion. I, 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 I agree that, let's, right. let's assume it, whatever language it was, it wasn't English. Yes. That's, that's the main point here. But would the name Injil indicate it was taken from the Greek? So if it was I'm taken not from... sure which, which, which language in, originally the Bible came down Yeah, as, but Injil is not an indigenous uh, Arabic word. No, nev, ne, neither is Isa. Isa is Jesus. Exactly. 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 But that's it's, what it's I'm like saying. An Arab, Arab, Arabized if, Even that is a mistake. Uh, in Isa is not so in um, Hebrew his Hebrew name is Yeshua Yeshua and um, the problem with Isa is the Ain moves to the back so it doesn't translate back into a Hebrew name so even the name will, of Isa yeah, is wrong yeah, in the Quran no, 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 it's, not, it's not wrong it's, it's God who, who's, who's, who's calling that and, and that and that, and that uh, language but in Arabic you have Yeshu Yashu we have Yahya as well. Yeah, yeah. Joshua. Yes, but y y uh, y Yeshua yeah. in Arabic translates to Yeshua in the Hebrew. We don't have Yeshua. Y yes, Yesu. Yes. Yeshua, Yeshua. 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 What Yeshua. did what did the Christian um, <coughs> Arabs Yeshua, call? Yeshua. Yeah, is that so? Yeah. That's the Arabic yeah. Arabized of the Hebrew. No, that Yeshua. They, cho they chose because because probably they they heard it out from the Greeks. That's no, why. no, his Hebrew name would have been Yeshua. Yeah. So the translation. Or the transliteration into Arabic but was But we can we can Yeshua. agree that, that God can call them whatever He but wants. The problem is why would Allah mistake His name he as would, he Isa? Would, he wouldn't mistake it as his because name Isa. his mother would not have called him Isa. She would have called him Yeshua. Fine, and and that, so where did the name Isa the come from? That's the same point that uh, Jesus didn't even speak Arabic, but he's speaking Arabic in the Quran. No, but, the same point. but the problem is, if Allah was, because you talked about Allah can accurately translate from no, one. No, 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 not accurately. Right. He can, he can, he can use whatever word. word but why would he change his name? He wouldn't because change his name. In the Quran, it says we. So he tells Miriam. He says, call him uh, Isa bin so he, bin Maryam. So even even Gabriel, Jibril. It's taken from Gabriel. No, 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 no. Not yes. even that. We have different Qur'at for Jibri, uh, Gabriel. We have different. Um, Pronunciations right. in the Quran. So no. we have Jibril, yep. we have Jibrail, yep. and we have. Uh, I think those are the two main ones. But no. even then, yeah. see, but we have we have two that, different names but, for the same. For yeah, the same but at name. least that is similar. Isa is not Yeshua. It's, not it's a similar. completely it's not different similar. name. Jibrail is, I, I think, closer to Hebrew. Right, and when Jibril. We have Jibril. Yeah. Jibril. Right. Yeah, that's the same. But, so, but again, Isa is a, is Mikael. Yes. And Mikal. Like Musa and like Musa. Just, we just have Musa. And in them. Hebrew they have Moshe, which yeah. is and in English we have Moses. So you can see but anyway, the similarity. So just, just to wrap up, no this, problem. this was my, my, my main point of, yep. of, of difference here. And mm -hmm. that's, so once any uh, word of God or uh, word of God or mm -hmm. claimed word of God right. is translated into a different language, yep. it's no longer a word of God. But then you've said that's the main but here's the here. thing I for example said about Isa's name is a wrong translation even in the Arabic you said God can say anything you yeah. want because that's why I said what did the Christian 
Arabs call him and uh, your wife says so, Yeshua. So, so, who, who's a better reference? Christian well, the Arab, Christians. Christian Arabs or, or yes, God the, himself? Exactly. So if God makes a mistake, it means it can't no, be no, from no, God. No, no. Your presumption is that it is from God. Yeah, and it's not a mistake. But, no, but that's, it's not a mistake. that's why my claim is where did the name Isa come from? He, he, uh, God, God uh, was the one, first one to use uh, it. Yeah, maybe. but that's the whole problem. We don't know. Exactly. My point is your, your assumption is because it's from God, it's correct. And I would agree, agree yeah, with you, yeah. if something is from God, it is it's correct. It's true. However, the problem is, it, God wouldn't also make mistakes like that. That's why we can, as Christians, we know it's not from God. And that's why the Arab <laughs> Christians know what Jesus' name is, which is very similar to the Arabic. No. So, so what you're saying is that if, if God used a different name for that same person... God doesn't it, make mistakes, that's what I'm no, saying. That, then that is a mistake, that's what you're saying? Yes, because no one knows where that name came from. And if he said to you, if he says in the Quran, call your son Isa ibn Miriam, he wouldn't have said that in real life because Miriam wouldn't have called her son Isa. She would have called him Yeshua. So that is an incorrect statement. No, not really. Subjective. Uh, again, again, yeah, yeah. Your opinion. No, but if Miriam was Hebrew, she would have, everyone know, ask a Jewish person so, so what, my, what the my, names my, are. My, my name, so that's why, my, as by Christians. The way, by the way, my name is, is, uh, has, has Hebrew origins. Yes. So my name is, is, is Yusuf. And it's, exactly. And it's yeah, so we can trace the, no, the no, names no, no. back. So if, if, if I call myself Joseph and Yusuf, I'm still the same person. Even yeah, if exactly. I use two, yes. two names. Yeah, but that's a transliterate. Exactly. You wouldn't call yourself uh, Yusuf and then David. That's not the same. That's what exactly what your Quran okay. has done. Okay. No, it's not. Isa yes. and Jesus. They have the same. Isa okay. and Jesus. Yeah. No, look, let me show you. So look. Last, uh, so in Arabic, so in Hebrew, that's what it is. Fine, I, 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 I And I know. in Arabic, it's this one. So this Fine. is what the, 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 the Arabic Christians, Christians. So this is what the Arabic Christians say. Yes, this is what the Quran says. And this is the original so who, who's, name. Who's, who's the bigger authority and the bigger reference? Here? Yeah, but this is what I'm saying. This is why your uh, presumption is that the Quran is from God. So therefore, it's true. Yep. I'm saying God, if God says something, it is true. The problem is God also doesn't make mistakes. Exactly. So this is a mistake. No, it's no, yes. no, that's it's from your perspective. Like, anyway, 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 anyway we'll, <laughs> let's agree to disagree. It's no a, problem. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice conversation. Nice you've been, you're quite knowledgeable yeah. Yeah. Right, as so well. What's the YouTube channel? Soko. Soko. And Revelations 2213. Yeah. Are you here on holiday or? Yeah, just on holiday. Okay. S O C O. S O C O. You've driven me psycho. Films. Yes, that's it. Oh yeah, that's it. So maybe in the next week or so, it will you can watch it. Show your friends. Yeah, you debated Paperboy. And then, but I'm, look at all the claims that I've made anyway. Sure, sure, sure. All right, take care. All right, cool. all right, take care. Okay, Paperboy, so wrap up. Just, just a, uh, yeah, quick wrap up. Clearly, we see the mental gymnastics from the Islamic narrative because their presupposition is that the Quran is from God. So any mistakes has to be accounted for. Yeah. And what I wanted to highlight is the double standard in the Islamic script is that they require a same a standard of the Bible yeah. which they don't require for the Quran. Yeah. They asked, for example, where did Jesus say I'm God? The guy even said, I, I don't know his name, he said, show me where uh, Luke said I was, he was inspired by God. He then said Christians appealed to mysterious verses such as Ergo and me to say Jesus was God. Yeah. I asked him a simple claim, show me where the Quran says uh, Jibreel was the one who gave Muhammad the uh, Quran. Quran. They could not show it. They showed in their brackets, he said this scripture and he was saying, oh, it means this. But he couldn't show me a clear cut verse. So every time they made the claim, they got busted. They, even the guy at the beginning, he said the Quran is from God because it says if there were many mistakes, then it would not be from God. And I said to him, what is the definition of many? He knew he was busted from that moment. He didn't answer my question because he then said, oh, it means any mistakes. And that's not what the Arabic says. It means that there can be mistakes in the Quran because it says many means more than one. So even with this person, we see the, uh, the sort of mental gymnastics that he stuck on. Yes, the Quran is true. He told us that the Arab Christians said Yeshua, but then Allah comes up with Isa, but couldn't explain where it comes from. And this is why if you look at it objectively, I asked them for historical claims, claims upon claims upon claims, which they couldn't give. So 
With Islam, it's 100% pure blind faith. In Christianity, yes, we have faith, but at least those claims can be substantiated outside of the Bible on many different things. So if God is the knower of history, history does not occur on a vac in a vacuum. There has to be some crumbs to point towards the evidence. So on that note, if anyone's sincerely researching the two religions, search Christianity with a sincere heart, look at the claims, look at the evidence. Even the final point I made, I showed him that Jesus ascended to heaven, that the prophet saw Jesus, that God come into the exact same mountain that Jesus was ascribed to ascend. But then they'll still say, oh, but show me where Jesus said, I'm God. Even though we can show them the clear link, but when it's the Quran, they'll insist, oh no, the vague verse means that Jibril revealed the Quran to Muhammad. So one that no paper boy out. Paper boy, before you go away, please, please invite the viewers to check out your new presentation, which they can find on the top right hand corner. Yep, check out my presentation yeah. on the biblical prophecies that destroyed the Quran narrative. And on that note, they can't hack the hack. Yeah. Paper boy out. Oh, okay. Have I? Cut.